Habari za wakati huu mtu wa Mungu niko hapa kukufikishia kile ambacho kimeendelea leo asubuhi kwenye mapokezi ya mtumishi wa Mungu mwinjilisti wa kimataifa Kevin ambaye alikuwa kisubiriwa kwa ajili ya mkutano mkubwa kabisa ambao unaenda kuweka historia ndani ya jiji la Mwanza. Tumezungumza pia pamoja na Pastor Goodla Kikiala e, bila kumsahau Pastor Frank Mwanakombe ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa ukanda huo wa Usagara bila kumsahau mchungaji Abel pia wote hawa pamoja na watumishi wengine wameelezea shauku yao ya huu mkutano ambavyo utaenda kuleta chachu ya mabadiliko makubwa zaidi hususani katika eneo hili la wokovu mkutano huu utafanyika nje kidogo ya jiji la Mwanza kwa maana ya kwamba utafanyika usagara e, tumefahamu kuona mikutano mingi kifanyika e, ndani ya jiji la Mwanza e, ama pembezoni kidogo lakini sasa awamu hii wameamua kupeleka mkutano huu kule Usagara. Kwa hiyo mtumishi wa Mungu Mwinjilisti Kevin atahudumu pale Usagara kuanzia e, leo unavyozungumza hapa siku ya Alhamisi na mkutano huu utaenda hadi siku ya Jumapili. Karibu sasa uweze kusikia kila ambacho kiliendelea mara baada ya mapokezi yake tutafanya nema mazungumzo kufahamu pia shauku yake ya kufika Mwanza Tanzania kwa mara nyingine tena. Mungu wa mbinguni akubariki sana mimi ni Pasco Kadushi. Unaweza niita PK. One of God we were we have been expecting him to come. Now is here in Tanzania and he is here just for one great assignment for salvation of souls. So let us ask him what uh, what people of Mwanza what should the people of Mwanza expect in this week. Amen. First of all I want to thank Bishop Kiara and all the other bishops and leaders that have invited us here. Now this is uh, my third time in Mwanza and every time I come it's I'm coming home. So this, this is my second home so I, I love being here. Now Jambo la kwanza ninataka kusema ninashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya Askofu Goodluck lakini na maskofu wote ambao wamekuja kunipokea. Mimi Mwanza ni kama marangu ya tatu kwa hiyo kama niko nyumbani. Now the scripture says that righteousness exalts a nation. Biblia nasema ya kwamba mwenye haki aki, haki uinua taifa. So we believe in this crusade that Mwanza is going to be lifted to another level. Kwa hiyo na mimi katika mkutano huu Mwanza inaenda kuinuliwa katika kiwango kingine. We are not here by coincidence or accident. Hatuko hapa kwa bahati mbaya. We are here by divine appointment. Tuko mali hapa kwa mpangilio wa kiungo. So this we believe Mwanza will never be the same after this crusade. We believe Jesus is moving all over the earth. Yesu amekuwa akitembea kwa nguvu ulimwenguni mote. Man of God. Umesema hii ni mara yako ya tatu unafika Tanzania Mwanza hapa. Man of God, you say that this is your third time to be Tanzania especially Mwanza. Yes. Katika tripu mbili ambazo zimepita ni vitu gani ambavyo ulitamani vitokee ndani ya jiji la Mwanza lakini havikutokea. Now sasa umekuja Mwanza, unatamani vitokee. What is your experience for the two, two, two times when in Mwanza the things maybe you were expecting to see them but you didn't see them but now you're expecting them to and uh, you are ready to see them. But listen, God is a God of greater works. Sasa sikiliza Mungu ni Mungu wa matendo makubwa. So it wasn't that we didn't see what we wanted to see. Haikuwa kwamba tukoona kile tulokuwa tunataka kuona. Scripture says in Romans 10 and 9 that he believes on Jesus will not be ashamed. Biblia nasema kwamba wanaumwamini Yesu Kristo hawataibika. That means if you believe in Jesus you will never be disappointed. Maana yake kama unamwamini Kristo huwezi kukatishwa tamaa. So we did not miss anything the last time. We're just looking for greater this time. Sio kwamba tulikosa chochote kwenye awamu zile mbili lakini kwamba kipindi hiki tunajua mambo yataenda kwenye hatua kubwa zaidi. Jesus is the God of greater works. Yesu ni Mungu wa matendo makubwa. Karibu sana Mwanza Tanzania. Welcome Mwanza Tanzania sana. God bless you. We're so glad to be here. Mungu akubarikie tunafurahi sana kwa mali hapa. Ah, uh, tutamani angalau tuseme na mama kidogo hapa. We would like at least to hear the voice of <laughs> mama. Tuambie siri ya mtumishi. Eh, tuambie siri eh, ya mtumishi wa Mungu Mungu kumtumia katika viwango vikubwa kiasi hiki. Wewe upo naye karibu zaidi. Mama, as long you are the wife, tell us the secret behind this man 
Why God is using him mightily? What is the secret behind? This man is a true man of God. I've watched this man pray day and night. We talk with our mama wa chungaji wa Kiafrika na wa Tanzania. Kuweza kubeba karama kubwa kiasi hiki. Maana wengi wao wanapoona watumishi wa Mungu wako busy sana na Mungu ni kama wanatumika kama njia moyo wapo ya kuwashusha zaidi kiunguma. Now, what's your word? What is your advice to uh, other women and uh, especially also African women, those who are married with ministers, men of God because somehow not most of them but some of women they can be used by devil to pull down those great ministry their uh, husband has. So what is your advice? I don't know whether you catch me. My advice to women that are married to ministers, evangelists, is to continue to pray and so continue to surround yourself with other like-minded individuals who seek God like you do. And when you surround yourself with people that think like you, that pray like you, that love the Lord like you do, there's no way that the devil can come in and interrupt what your husband is trying to do for the Lord. Masema ushauri wangu kwa wanawake ambao wameolewa na watumishi hasa wenjilisti, ushauri wa kwanza ni kuwaombea sana, kuwaombea sana ume zao, kuwaombea sana zile huduma zao, lakini hawa mama wajifunze kujizungushia au kushirikiana na wamama wengine ambao na wao ni wamama watumishi kwa hiyo watatiana joto watatiana moyo na hiyo itafanya kwamba wasitoe nafasi ya adui kutumika kuvuta chini au kuharibu zile kwa hayo machache ambayo umeyasikiliza karibu sana kwenye mkutano huu ambao unafanyikia e, usagara jijini Mwanza kwa maelezo zaidi unatamani kufika kwenye mkutano tumekuwekea namba ya mratibu ya viongozi ambao ukiwasiliana nao basi unaweza ukafika kwenye mkutano na ukapata taarifa zaidi juu ya mkutano huu. Mungu wa mbinguni akubariki sana. Usiache kutufuatilia.